Power Ranger is gay, YouTube apologizes, Eden's Mercy fails, and June Manga is releasing some new BL in English. More on this in a second here at Queer Fidanchi. Hi, welcome to Queer Fidanchi. My name is Devin and welcome to Friday, which is the weekly update where I share LGBTQ and BL media news. This could be anything from casting announcements from Hollywood to new Kickstarters to new releases of Biawi manga. So let's get talking. First, earlier this week, it was announced that in the new Power Rangers movie, one of the Power Rangers would be gay. And specifically, it is Trini, the yellow Power Ranger. I feel like the behind the scenes of this is that it really was just them trying to get more attention for the movie, just like recently how Beauty and the Beast got a lot of attention for their LGBT character. A lot of viewers aren't even talking about the whole LGBT aspect of it. And then the ones that do say that it's pretty inconsequential. Essentially, it's just one line that's said when Trini is upset and someone says boyfriend problems or girlfriend problems, and she doesn't really acknowledge it. Essentially, this is supposed to be the line that hints at the fact that she is actually gay, but otherwise, it's not really a factor. Now, of course, just because, you know, she doesn't engage in any, like, making out with a girl or anything, that doesn't take away the fact that she's a gay character. But at the same time, I don't know. It, this announcement seems more like queer baiting to get the LGBT people interested in the story than actually presenting real representation, you know? But hey, I still haven't seen the movie yet. If you guys have seen the movie, what did you think? Comment down below. Second, YouTube got into some trouble this past weekend. Essentially, YouTube has this kind of censoring wall that it puts up. It's uh, optional, you don't have to put it on, but for people who want more of a limited experience, can put up this uh, restricted mode, and then some of the content will be restricted. Well, it turns out that a lot of LGBTQ content is actually restricted. Note that this isn't adults, like sexual content. This isn't just that, you know, this could just be anything that involves LGBT issues. Even couples talking about their engagements can be restricted. And so a lot of YouTubers, of course, took a lot of offense to this, took to Twitter, raised a stink about it, even had a hashtag up. Uh, it was a whole thing, right? So then YouTube responded a couple of days ago, like Sunday, Monday, and posted, We are so proud to represent LGBTQ plus voices on our platform. They're a key part of what YouTube is all about. The intention of restricted mode is to filter out mature content for the tiny subset of users who want a more limited experience. LGBTQ plus videos are available in restricted mode. But videos that discuss more sensitive issues may not be. Why am I moving my hands so much? We regret any confusion this has caused and are looking into your concerns. We appreciate your feedback and passion for making YouTube such an inclusive, diverse, and vibrant community. So essentially YouTube saying, we're sorry, we're on it. But really this might just be them saving face. And since then, really nothing has changed. I know at the same time, you know, you don't change a whole structure of an internet website in one day, but... We'll see. Next, a lot of media have now just realized that Jesus from The Walking Dead is gay, even though they made an announcement like months ago. I literally talked about it. Link there or there, whichever one, I always get it wrong. <laughs> Next, John Cho will be playing a gay character as well. If you guys don't know, John Cho is known for being in movies like the Harold and Kumar series, as well as being in the American Pie series. In addition to that, he also played Sulu from the Star Trek series films. Um, and that character was actually made gay to respect George Duquet, who originated the character in the TV series. And now John Cho will be playing another gay character. This will be in the Hulu TV show Difficult People. The show specifically is about uh, Billy Etchner and his best friend Julie Klausner, and they are two comedians who are struggling and trying to deal with New York life, right? And so this character, John Cho's character, will be dating Billy's character, and they two will meet by having a prank war that gets so heated that they get heated in other ways, if you know what I mean. So then the two kind of deal with, oh, we're in a relationship now. What is this like? Um, so that's interesting. If you like John Cho, go check that out. Another TV announcement is that the main character of Bates Motel has made out with a dude, and the directors are saying that, yeah, he's probably done it a bunch of times before. Oh, if you guys don't know, Bates Motel is a TV show. It's supposed to be a prequel to the Psycho movie. So essentially, it's following the origin story of Norman Bates, right? Oh, 
Fun fact, this episode actually starred Rihanna as the character, the female character who actually gets killed in that iconic shower scene, the, you know. Um, but anyway, what people really wanted to talk about was the fact that Norman Bates had a moment where he went into his, he has split personality disorder, he went into his mother's personality in his mind, went to a bar, and ended up making out with a man. And the directors of then said later on that he's probably ended up doing this a lot for the last couple of years in the show and in the story, and saying that he is probably having lots of gay sex. They're not going to define his sexuality though, and they're not going to quantify how many times he has done this. They're just saying it's a thing that's probably happened a lot. So that's interesting. Next I have an LGBT Kickstarter before I get into the BL news. Specifically this uh, Kickstarter is called Space for the Spectrum. It's supposed to be kind of like a half autobiographical uh, story book as well as a kind of self-help uh, LGBT book. So really the whole purpose is that this creator, the author, is talking about his life, how he struggled with being gay, and also keeping his faith, being a Christian man. And it's supposed to be a story that's supposed to be uplifting and help you understand why being LGBT and being a faith is okay and why you can live both lives. And I think that's interesting, so I thought I would share that Kickstarter with you. If you guys want to back it, you can back it for any amount of uh, New Zealand dollar. But if you guys want to back it and get the book, you can back it for 20 New Zealand dollars. In addition, don't look at the video. That's on the Kickstarter, link in the description of always. But don't look at the video. And by saying that, I hope that you actually look at the video and regret it as much as I did. Now on to BL news. And we got a little bit. First, Dune Manga, in a way to promote Elon's Mercy, announced a little bit of data, which they said they gathered from e-commerce uh, reports, Google Analytics, polls from publishers, search terms, and customer surveys. And essentially they said, in the past, over 80% of Yaoi fans preferred the Bishonen Pretty Boy type, but now over 65% have a taste for all types. In addition, in the 90s, the top themes were BDSM, fantasy, splice of life, and now the common themes between the two groups of anime fans and yaoi fans are horror, psychological, and mafia slash yakuza. In the 90s, less than 20% of anime fans were yaoi fans, but now over 50% of anime fans also enjoy yaoi in some way, either if it's light shonen A or full on bara. So that's an interesting, I guess little bit of statistics, and I thought I would share. Speaking of Eden's Mercy, let's face it guys, Eden's Mercy has failed. I've been covering this thing for months now, back in like, what, December, November? And it's failed. It's kind of sad, honestly. There are two hours, as of when I'm recording this, two hours left of the Kickstarter, but it's at $11,000 out of the 50 that it's trying to make. It's not gonna happen. That said, like I said last week, Eden's Mercy still will happen, it's just the fact that it's going to take longer to get to us. They talked about it already at the Pashonen Khan Q&A. The comic is already done and finished. The thing is that this was supposed to help with the publishing and the getting the whole comic in our hands faster. Sadly, since this Kickstarter has not actually worked out, it'll take longer for that process to go. But we will get the comic. In addition, all those extra stuff like the Fidanti Fujoshi hat, which I really, really, really wanted, we probably won't get unless they decide to sell that in some other time. But once again, it'll take a while. Edith Mercy, Kickstarter failed, but we will get it. It's just, it's going to take later. That's the short of it. Lastly, I have some uh, upcoming BL that Jun Manga is going to produce, uh, publish, translate, whatever. First, there is The Boy, The Boy Toy by Shin Mizukami. The summary for this is that, for young and mistreated Seiji, it was love at first sight when he met Baron Karuba, the master of creepy Karuba manner. Sadly, the Baron only sees Seiji as a mere dog that needs to be punished for his own sinister pleasure. Yeah, it's that kind of comic. Next is Eros Man, Eros Man by Psychedelico. Seiji and Kotetsu are two aspiring manga writers living from day to day. Suddenly they come up with an idea that catapults them to stardom. Lastly, Pure Love Chivalrous Spirit by Ayan Sakuragi. After inheriting his father's hefty loans, Murasaki Kenichiro, a crammed school math and science teacher, finds himself forced to tutor Mitsuya Nobara, a young Akusa heir to the Kento area Nobara group. So if you guys are interested in any of those comics, you can check them out and pre-order them 
link in the description. And that is it for this weekly update. If you guys have any comments on any of these news stories, I know there's a lot, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like it, to share it with your friends, and to subscribe if you haven't already, for if you're not to try to share LGBTQ and VL media through news, reviews, and good conversation. So let's get talking.